before I get started, I'd like to explain my seven card Know Thyself or Know Yourself spread that I'll be using for the readings. I gave it this moniker because it's easy to understand the meaning of the three top cards of the spread. The top left hand card is what you know. The central card is what can be or is yours. And the card on the right is self or self-awareness. Three mini Rider weight cards will be the clarification cards underneath the main cards. And the card on the right will be the future card. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what's in store for you in your Eidsamart tarot reading. And then after that, I'll do a Ye Jing reading for you. The card on the top left for what you know is the Knight of Swords. Pages bring ideas and knights act on them. But he's an impetuous knight that gallops along at full speed, and once he passes by, I'm sure you're thinking, what happened? And in his haste, he has a tendency of being dysfunctional. Swords cards are our teachers. But then again, there's a lot of dysfunction going on. We've got the two of swords woman that can't make a decision because of opposing forces. We've got the eight of swords woman that's blindfolded, tied up, and has swords around her, but in reality, she could have escaped at any time. And this Knight of Swords, too, is also somewhat dysfunctional. He gives off an intensity. It's like a smoldering smoke that blinds you. And Although he's fearless and he tries to make wrongs into rights, his presence is a call to action and a reminder for you to slow down and make sure you've thoroughly thought through any decisions. And also at this time, if there's any travel involved, it might not be easy sailing. Now the clarification card is the Five of Wands and this is reinforcing that there's conflict. Anytime there's impetuousness, typically there's conflict. And here it's saying, yeah, there's some type of resistance, aggression, even anger. And I'm feeling like it's for some kind of negotiations or basic decision-making interactions. It feels like somebody or some people are stone cold against recent changes in plans. Now, and what you know, oh, excuse me, or what can be or is, is the Empress. She's about the senses of material things, of feeling, touching, loving, but she's also about fertility, which can be the birth of ideas and the instigation of new projects. But the clarification card here is the Six of Wands. It's You're a victor in some type of competition or contest, and it's indicating whatever that you embark on from the Empress is going to be successful. You're going to be honored for your prowess and victory. However, there's a little bloop in the graph here for the self and self-awareness because you received the tower. This doesn't have to be a negative vibration or feeling to it. It's really something's causing some kind of ethereal shift in time and space. But it's going to be causing a rebuilding of order. This, this could be something like your conscious mind is restructuring itself for new ideas and the needs involved in the new ideas. And I think you're aware of this. Now the clarification card is the Two of Pentacles. Two to me means decision, partnership, and perhaps even balance or balancing of affairs and to keep the balls in the air and not drop them. I think it's reminding you to, to, to make some grave deliberations in order to make the right decision or decisions. Because I'm getting the feeling that there's a multifaceted problem that it needs to mesh a lot of things together compatibly. And in these decisions, that's what you have to do, is you have to be the master of bringing it all together. The future card is the, the Knight of Pentacles. 
it's not often that you see somebody or something nowadays that will do something responsible instead of the stardom of being a knight or are in the starlight of of the victory of things. This guy really doesn't care about victory. He cares about being responsible and taking his work serious, seriously. And he's well grounded and he receives his rewards through traditional time-tested endeavors. He's learned from experience. Even though he's a knight, he's the most responsible knight in the court. And as he plods along slowly, he accumulates things as he goes. His preference is peaceful negotiations, and I think that's why he's moving away from the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. He methodically evaluates everything, probably maybe even too much like a Virgo would do, a very detail-oriented, but, but he achieves success in his own good time. But what he wants you to do, too, is roll up your sleeves and get to work and get your fingernails dirty. Don't be afraid to work. Because if you don't, there won't be any success. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.